Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a in separation video to see where you are with your person, the type of love situation and where you are and how you've overcome this situation and what you're doing uh, to pass time. And so there you have it. You guys do me a favor. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified. When I post a new video, remember red hearts, you made it through, purple hearts, it resonates, green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. All right, this is somebody who you deem to be your true love, but you got to make them prove it. That is what the universe is saying, and a race is here. I deleted everything that reminded me of you, and so you, I, either the person erased the past energy because you had to make them prove it, the love situation that you are in. Let's see, you guys. Uh, I'll pull one more card since, yeah, wedding. Somebody who you felt like you saw a lifetime with, you know. But, again, they didn't at some point prove what you thought uh, would be. Yeah, they were plastic. Uh, regret. Yeah, so either you or this person is in regret. We'll go ahead and dig, yeah, against time. Only time will tell where this person is at this point. It says seeing a future with you, taking it to the next le level, they choose you. And then it says um, plastic, it says surface level relationships, fake love messages, not a real love connection. So the universe is telling you to look at things from a different perspective because what you thought is not really a real love connection or it wasn't. And against time, it says um, rushing before it's too late, took a long time, walking on thin ice. So you're making this person prove it and they're in regret, but against time, time will only tell and um, again, before it's too wait, late, and it says walking on thin ice. This person knows that they're walking on thin ice when it comes to you, so you, uh, they have to prove it. You're making them prove it by either being in separation or you just, um, you know, really not saying or being the person that you were in the beginning, you know, and that's only because time will tell, and time is showed you time again. Lost, discarded, and reduced. You'll hear my pretty in the background. She's not really in the room. She's down the hallway in her in her playroom. So there you have it. Pressure. Yeah. Somebody is under pressure and anxiety and discomfort because again, they're living in regret. Bottom of the deck is yes. Believe it, implement it and solve it. Did you smile today? Yes. Believe it, implement and solve it. So you're making them implement what it is that they are saying or what it is that they didn't do unless they come around because you're tired. Break time out in half time. You're tired of dealing with the bull when it comes to dealing with this person. So that's kind of how I see that. Let me pull from, let's see. I don't know what card deck I want to use. I know I have this tarot deck here, but that's more so for you. Let me pull. This is, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it, but um, yeah, there you have it. Um, you guys know, if you know, you know. Uh, the Lenormand deck and another deck, I can't think of the name of it, but yeah, whip. Uh, this is, um, what is this, the the whip? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's the whip, like you're whipping somebody into shape. Uh, that's kind of how I see that, 23 right miles. Um, yeah, it's like they've been sneaky this whole time, so now you're just like, no, you need to go ahead and uh, get to a point to where you're starting to smell the flowers, see the roses. That's just kind of how I see it, but it's a four-luck clover. clover. Luck has been on your side in regards to this, and because they've been in a maze, look, card number 43, 23, 11, and 2 could mean something to you guys. But you've been in a maze, and it's been a back and forth. This is a man and three women, so it could be, again, uh, the, the plastic uh, surface-level relationships energy, not a real love connection the universe is telling you. But you know what? They're tired of living their life this way, and so you have to whip them in the shape, the card that stayed at the bottom. I'll go ahead and take that, which is flowers, six of cups. Yeah, give yourself the compassion you were never given. And so that is what you're learning to do. You're making them prove it by you stepping up for yourself. And, you know, the wedding, the things that you, you know, the potential that you saw in this person, you're just like, nope, I'm not looking at that no more. Five of cups energy. So we have a lot of water energy up here. It says spilled tea isn't the end of the world. So you found out about the love, corals, connections, and things like that. So we have the five and the six of cups, energy, water, energy. You found out about it, but only time will tell if all that stuff will last. But, you know, somebody is under pressure. Either it be you, yeah, the broom. Tidy up your life so you can make space for something better. And that's what you're doing. That's why you're making them prove it. This could be the four-leaf clover. Like I said, luck is on your side. But 
could be springtime. Springtime, you're cleaning up everything. You're getting ready for things to change. And so bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords energy. Yeah, you walked away from this thing. It says all aboard, all aboard, which it says it's time to write a new chapter. And that is what you're doing. Again, um, you had to walk away from these situations. Ace of Swords is clarity. It says, look at you. You're bursting with sparkly new ideas. And so this is all about you. And again, the labyrinth that you, you went with this person or went through with this person, you're not doing this no more. Three of Pentacles, yeah. So this could be third-party energy, but the Three of Pentacles could be, it says, what's the saying? Teamwork makes the spell, makes the spell work. You're coming together with like-minded individuals, and you're, you're uh, manifesting. You're pulling all of the things that you wanted to do. Yes, you did. You're doing all of these things that you regretted not doing in the past in order for you to Four of Pentacles, yeah. It says, treat yourself to something shiny every now and again. So four of pentacles energy is you, you know, saving money, pulling your energy back, conserving the things that you do. And it's treating yourself because queen of pentacles energy, like JDS Tarot used to say, I haven't watched him in a while. I don't know. I don't think he's doing uh, any other. He's doing three zodiacs, it looks like, and then regular readings. I'm not sure, but that's what I see. I haven't seen any cancer reads. I think I just seen Gemini Capricorn and something else but there's a method to his madness and that's what he wants to do and his reads are good no matter whose sign they're for so you should just go and listen to him but back then when I used to watch him all the time he used to say that the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself and the queen of pentacles saying when I was learning tarot I'm going to read it to you let me find it it says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what is toxic to you so you're whipping yourself into shape you're getting rid of all the sneaky type of behavior and um, the plastic energies and the true love, you're going to let it come to you. You're going to find it out there. But the patient witch, yeah, you're going to be patient in regards to it. It says, learn to learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary. When I have an issue or I feel like the energy is changing, I go take a nap. I sit still. I don't question. I don't None of that. I just sit still, and I know that things are going to happen, and I'm going to manifest them the way that they need to. So the Eight of Wands energy, it says a light, uh, light, excuse me, light a fire underneath the cauldron and go, go, go. So it's just telling you with the Eight of Wands energy to move forward, to move forward, to change, to go in a direction that you need to go into, to make those decisions that you need to make, and 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 don't look back. You know, time has already been lost. You already felt the pain, the anxiety, the discomfort. Now somebody has to prove to you what it is because the sneaky behavior, the third-party behaviors, you whipping them in the shape or you – this is not um, not even just whipping them in the shape. It's a whip here, but it's you whipping yourself in the shape, and that's what you have to realize that when it gets to this point, the only person that you can fix is yourself. And so you have to be able to understand that the broken energy of a broken mirror, somebody being able to see the reflection within themselves comes with you removing your energy – you know, because at some point, again, you felt lost, discarded, and reduced to who you really aren't. You're a powerful po person, and, you know, this person makes you feel like certain situations, egg on their face. Yeah, so this person has hit rock bottom, but it took for you to hit rock bottom in order for them to hit rock bottom. Karma, I'm not going to put any, you know, I hate to say karma. I just hate, to, I just want to say this. Do unto others as they do to you. You've already did everything, so now they want to come back because they see they're ashamed. Again, it comes out two different card readers. They're ashamed. There's egg on their face, right? Um, the, everything that they thought they were doing with the third parties, all this other stuff is backfired on them. Um, their life is falling apart. That's just basically it without you. I'm not going to say anything about jail and legal issues, what it says on this card, but rock bottom is actually feeling like they've been in prison mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually too. And so the unfinished business is to go back to realizing who really is their true love, proposal, forgiveness, and reconciliation, wedding, because they realized the surface level relationship wasn't what it was, the making it rain here, manifesting abundance, legal matters in your favor, unexpected money, promotions, and entrepreneur. So this is what you're out there looking for. You're making it rain on you. You're not worried about, again, the queen of pentacles is the mother of the zodiac, right? We're the mother of the zodiac, but the queen of pentacles is somebody who always is able to manifest things that they want. They manifest change. They manifest money but they can spend the majority of that energy on other people when they see their flaws. Again, the distractions. Yeah, temptation, always busy and kept you kept you waiting. So this person kept you waiting. And so while you were giving all your time and energy to this person, they hit rock, they, they, they 
thought that what they were doing were good was good, you know. And so, against time, again, it says uh, walking on thin ice. They know that the labyrinth, and you know, again, when it comes to how they dealt with the situation, you're putting yourself first. You're not putting anybody else um, first. You're putting yourself first, and they are looking at everything in regards to. Maybe you're doing this. Maybe you're doing that. Maybe you're keeping yourself busy the way that they kept their self busy. But what you're doing is trying to work on yourself, whether it be just sitting still and kind of letting things happen. But again, they are ashamed right now. And it comes out twice. They're ashamed of the way that they treated you. And I guess that's what I'll name this based upon their distractions, you know. And so um, against time, they have to be able to come back around if you allow them to and um, get you out of your money making zone or your manifesting zone and you know, really get to see because you have the friendships here, the three of pentacles energy. Where is it at? You are making you're making the friendships based upon the unfinished business that they did Four of pentacles. You pull in your money is there. You're pulling it back. And even if it's not, you're manifesting things. You're you're buying yourself little things, you know, in the game of life and how to play it. It says that, you know, uh, basically, in so many words, scared money don't make no money. And, and also, when you hold on to your money, it doesn't make your money come in. It just you know, kind of basically with money and things like that, it it makes you consider it like a hoarder, you know, like you, you're, you're waiting for a rainy day to happen, like you're manifesting that energy. And so you have to go out if it's an apartment you want. And that's why I say it's good to listen to the game of life and how to play it. You don't have to read it. Even if you read it, it's like 89 pages, but you're manifesting things you want by going out there and buying the little things. And then you take this big leap and you move or you go on vacation by yourself, something that you wouldn't normally do, and you let them see that they can't get to you by you not really uh, uh, falling uh, into that zone of answering the phone or doing this or doing that. You're making things work. What's the saying? Teamwork makes the spell work. Spell work to me, again, spell work to me is manifestation. Spell work to me is you, you know, in, in a positive light, right? Spell work to me is sending strength and healing to a person. Spell work to me is understanding that you have the power, the power of your words can manifest anything. It can manifest greatness. It can manifest everything. And you've done all that. You've given your energy, and now it's time for you. So you're manifesting all of the things when it comes to everything being in your favor by you just speaking uh, everything into existence, ha being happy about things, not sweeping up bad company. Do you remember your parents used to say, don't give the kids the broom uh, -uh cuz you sweeping up company we don't want company when i tell you you guys this company thing you didn't get my last couple of readings because for some reason my oh look i bro broke my nail these are press ons i'm back to press ons um i've been using them for 20 years and this last few four, 3 4 years i was getting my nails done by my niece but i'm back to press ons so these are the little kiss press on nails that um hey there you have it no issues 5 seconds move forward I don't have time to just, I'm back into my zone, right? So, broom, sweeping up company. Um, sweeping up company, let me tell you guys, do not allow people in your house, you know? And um, whether whoever it is, you just have to send strength and healing their way. Not a bad thing. Sometimes you just have to do it. Sometimes you just can't do it. And sometimes you just know better before you do it. And those are the, the red flags that you have to understand why and wh why they come up and why you feel and have that pit at the bottom of your stomach when it comes to dealing with anything. So this could be relationships. This could be, you know, situationships. This could be friendships. This could be any kind, jobs, whatever it is. But the thing is, it's like clean up, clean up, tidy up. Make sure that you're not putting negative energy or letting people allow things to, to pile up in your life. And that's what you, that's what this lesson is, not allowing things to pile up in your life. Is it about in separation, yes, it is. You're in separation from people. You're separating yourself from people. You're not allowing people to make you overthink. You know, a light, a light the fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. You're not letting people keep you stagnant. And so that is the lesson here. You're whipping yourself into shape based upon the separation that you have had in the past, whether it be with whomever. It's unfinished business that these other people feel stupid about. They feel stupid about because all you tried to do was help.
All you tried to do was help. And so when you have to walk away, it's walking away. It's like nine times out of ten. If, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. So you're finding people who complete you and not deplete you. You're finding like, kind individuals. You're understanding that sometimes you have to pull your energy back in order for you to move forward. And even though you are the queen of pentacles and you can financially, mentally, spiritually, emotionally manifest anything and everything for people who you truly love, you just have to pull back your energy and say, you know what, I'm... I know what my end goals are and know it's not just about marriage. It's about understanding how people use your kindness for weakness and how people make you feel like you're doing something wrong when you're and you're hitting rock bottom. So these are the things that you keep going into, you know, feeling stupid, feeling like everything is falling apart on your behalf and understanding that you don't want to live in a situation to where you are, um, you're feeling like you need to be forgiven forgiven, or that you've done anything wrong. That's who the Queen of Pentacles is when she gets to her it, being in the reverse energy. You know what I'm saying? And so the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse could just be like, you know, um, you, um, I'm sorry, I'm saying the reverse. The Queen of Pentacles can be like when you get in the reverse, that's when you start to understand this. But the Queen of Pentacles can, can be like, always uh, trying to nurture and heal and provide financially for family, friends, loved ones, whatever, you know, and, and it just turns around and this is the energy that you go through. But this is the 360 degree uh, energy that happens with the Wheel of Fortune when until you learn this lesson. You just keep feeling, you know, this way, you know, feeling like everything, like your your these people's energies are causing you to have to feel like you've done something wrong and that you want to talk to them no you're not in that that anxiety that discomfort is because you keep giving your all to people you keep feeling lost in a situation where you're giving people time energy and now you're whipping yourself into shape and not worried about people's sneakiness people's uh, fake and what what uh you can do for them because they only come around when they need something they don't come around they don't provide anything to you mentally physically and emotionally so you have to get out of that situation if that makes sense and so that is where you are I'm going to go ahead and pull from what lies beneath, and then I'll pull from spiritual gifts because, again, you do have a gift. You have to understand what is going to make you feel at peace when it comes to what it is that you need to do moving forward. Yeah, in the reverse. My cards are not in reverse. I hate nothing about you. You're starting to hate everything about everyone, and that's when you know that you're in the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse or you're in your Queen of Swords energy, right? Um, and the police, this came out in my last read. Uh, you start to, you know, feel like, let me walk away because, you know, here it is. You know, cancers are garbage fail kids. They're garbage fail kids. Yeah, betrayal. Yeah, deceit, backstab, traitor, not to be trusted. You start to feel like everybody can't be trusted. But if you set those boundaries in the beginning and you understand the distractions and why they keep coming, you know, you have to understand that you don't hate anything about a person. You don't. But you start to. And you start to feel toxic, like, let me get away from this person because I'm going to hurt them. Or let me get away from this person because I'm going to say something that ain't right. And then you start to come out of your, your zone and you start to get into that queen of swords energy to where, um, you know, in, in, in the reverse where you're just like overly emotional, you're, you're, you're cold hearted, you know. And so this is where you're just like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not letting anybody take me out of my character. I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to do all these things. I'm not going to even let this energy come back around me, if that makes sense. And so that is how... I see that energy when it comes to you. So you're ending things before they even start. And those are queen of swords in the reverse, setting those boundaries, saying the hard things that you wouldn't normally say and going from there. Hold on, my cards fail. Saying the um, hard things. I'll pick it up and put it on the table because it did fall. And I was about to use this deck. Um, sorry. Yeah, look at that. A small child. You're learning. You're unlearning to relearn. You're learning from your past energy. This is Lenor another Lenor Lenormand deck. Card number 18, that could mean something to you. You could have a small child, but if you ask me, when it comes to the stork, another card came out. The good lady, yeah, when it comes to the stork being a good person, when it comes to rebirth and things like that, you have to be the one to set the boundaries and say, I'm not even mad. I just can't allow anybody to come in my personal space or to disturb my energy when it comes to why uh, I, I always give my all to help. And it just, my kindness is taken for a weakness. And it gets me to that point to where I'm just uh, in the Queen of Pentacles. Um, excuse me. I'm in the Queen of Swords in the reverse, which it did not come out. But 
again, we know how we could be when we get ang angry, agitated, or feel like our kindness is taken for weakness. None of these, oh, I was going to say, none of these cards want to come out. Yeah, prison is there again. Yep, military. You start to be militant. You start to set these boundaries to not let anybody cross your path. Card number 22 can mean something, occupation. You start to change the way you want to do things. You start to go within and find new sources to make you happy. And so that could be finding a new job. That could be, you know, getting out, the, out of this mental prison. Because, again, back to where we are with the jail being here and a rich girl, you get in your bag, you know. Hold on, I'm about to sneeze. It's going to come out as soon as I uh, – start talking again but yeah you get in your rich girl bag and you get out of that mental prison but this could be the tower but the prison is holding you back this energy is holding you back so you start to really look at everything that uh from where you are at this moment and you start to move out of that situation again militant setting boundaries queen of swords in the upright and so there you have it red eye tiger root chakra yeah you start to change your foundation you start to change your foundation and the root chakra uh starts to take set place and you start to become confident you start to back you start to become confident again that's how i'm going to say you start to motivate yourself you start to move forward when it comes to you setting your foundations and that's setting boundaries i'll take this card don't make assumptions when you come to dealing with the person again speak openly and honestly again your queen of swords bag right you're not going to make those assumptions your foundation is being built right now you're going to find people who complete you and not deplete you you're also going to pull back energies negative energies you're not going to give second chances i'm sorry that's just not who it's going to be and if you let somebody come back around that was here in the beginning you're going to turn around and understand that um this is what you're going to do speak open and honestly so it says speak open and honestly this is from the game uh four agreements um if you want to know my version of it and the chakras click the link up above don't make assumptions. It says when you speak open and honestly, you won't have to make assumptions. The day you stop making assumptions, you will communicate cleanly and clearly and achieve impeccability uh, with your word. Hold on, my pretty one. Say hi. Hold on a second. You can wave right here. There you go. Say hi. hi. Tell them to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. And hit the bell. And hit the bell. There you go. So with the if red, you want to see more. that's right. Okay, go ahead. Go back in your playroom. So it says red tiger eye. It says root chakra, confidence, motivation, and vitality. It says, I am confident, motivated, and passionate. So once you find your passion and once you understand where your passion lies, you're not going to let anybody disturb that anymore. And that is your true love. And so this could be you being in separation from a true love, or this could be you separating yourself from people who you thought you truly loved and who you have to set boundaries with. And so you take what resonates and leave, you leave what doesn't. If this isn't for you, it's just not for you. But we're going to go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. Make them prove it. I love you guys.